Hello, I am back with another Dollar Tree haul and I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday evening and picked up a lot of stuff. I've never spent this much money at the Dollar Tree before. I spent like $30 and change. I'm sure people have spent more than that before, but personally, I haven't. Um, I bought this Stars and Stripes soda. I think it's like two and three quarters liters. So almost um, three liters. My grocery store sells three liters for a dollar, but this is fine. Um, this Dollar Tree that I went to, um, there's three Dollar Trees in my area. And this Dollar Tree has a cooler section in a like frozen food section the other two don't and this was my first time going to this one so I got a couple things from the frozen food section I got this Michelina's pizza snack rolls this is the combination one and I also got the pepperoni one um, I've seen this brand before not this particular item but I've seen the uh, they have like dinners like where the lean cuisines and that type of stuff is um, and I bought this I bought two of these I've had El Monterey before I've had their enchiladas and I think taquitos or chimichangas or something like that so that's a good brand it's a pretty big burrito it's at least like 10 inches long um, this is the beef and bean. I bought two of these, but um, my mom was hungry last night, so she made one of them. Um, so I had those. And in my last haul, I bought a pink basket. Um, like a plastic basket bin thing. And they didn't have those, maybe because those were more summer type items, but I bought this one. It has handles. It's in like this kind of maroon orange color. There were regular orange ones too. Um, but I had wanted one to put like garden items in. So I might put that in here or put something else in here. Um, I bought two of these Sure Fresh containers. I put the cover on it just because I wanted to make sure it fit because there's been times where I've bought containers from the Dollar Tree and the covers don't fit. And they were the covers that were packaged with them. So um, this wasn't what I wanted. I couldn't find what I wanted there. They had um, at another Dollar Tree like the tall canisters with the spouts, kind of like a Tupperware one. And I have a couple Tupperwares, but I didn't want to use the good Tupperware ones to put the stuff in them and um, I make my own powdered laundry detergent and I wanted to put my borax in one and my super washer soda in the other but they didn't have those there they had like a smaller one with like the purple lid um, but they were too small to fit my boxes of um, borax and washing soda so I bought these and so we'll try those out. Um, I got these reusable wipes. I've never seen these before um, in any kind of brand, I guess. But I guess these are reusable. They're kind of like paper towels, but you could even wash them. And um, there's six in here. So we'll try these out and see how they work. Um, I use a lot of microfiber cloths, so... I guess I can use these now too. Um, I bought a couple packages of some panty liners. I bought um, these screen cleaning wipes for like my phone and tablet and computer. What I wanted was eyeglass cleaning wipes and I couldn't find those. Um, so I guess sometimes they don't have everything when they have the orders according to my uncle he said that he's been going to his Dollar Tree to get some bleach and they didn't have any and one of the employees said that sometimes they don't get everything in the order so that 
particular delivery they had. They, I guess they didn't have bleach. Um, they have these little mini Sharpies. Um, I was looking for regular size Sharpies, but this is okay. This is a purple Sharpie, a dark purple one, which I like, and it's the fine tip. Um, I like to have these at work to write on things. Um, so, let me put this back. I saw someone else haul this, only it was a pink one with orange straps. It's just a drawstring bag. This one has green straps. And I bought this to keep in my car. Um, we've gone out to eat or gone someplace, like the movies or something, and the air conditioning has been too cold, and I never have anything to wear, like put a sweatshirt on or a light sweater or something. So I figured I would keep a couple items in here in my car. So when I need something, they're already in there. So I bought that for that. I got this hot or cold pain relief pack. You can either freeze this or you can put it in the microwave, which I thought was good. And it's reusable, so I thought that was really good for a dollar. My mom has a few gel type things that she keeps in the freezer, but I thought this would be good for me for my back or something. Um, so that was a good price for a dollar. And this isn't really going to be in any order. I'm just picking up everything out of the bags. I got these headbands. They're like rubbery and they have teeth um, and then the elastic here. I've never had anything like this before, but I've bought like the Goody or the Scunchy or whatever brand of like the black elastic ones that on the inside they have kind of like a rubber strip, which is what I need because otherwise headbands fall off my head like nobody's business. So these I thought were good because they're rubbery anyways, plus they have the teeth. But the elastic type headbands that they had there, um, they only had like the Dollar Tree brand, which is fine, but none of them had like that little rubber strip on the inside. So I got these instead. And they had other ones that were kind of thicker and had more of like a pattern, but I thought these were good. They had um, a lot of the Halloween decorations out and Halloween candy so I got these not for Halloween just for me <laughs> um, these Smarties I like Smarties once in a while they're good I got some thank you cards just to have um, there's six of them in here and they have envelopes and I thought that was a pretty design and on the inside it says Hope you know how much it was appreciated. So I thought that was good. I guess these originally go for three twenty-five, so a dollar is good. Um, I got one of these too. This um, head wrap. It has like an elastic part, and I thought this was pretty. See, I always have my hair back. I'm a nurse, and I always have my hair back, and I just wanted something. This step, I don't know if I'd wear to work. Um, maybe. I wouldn't mind, but we'll see. But the other ones I definitely would. But this I'd feel like I'd wear it out more. But I thought it was pretty. I got this bath brush because I bought one from Vitacost and it was I think Earth Therapeutics or something it had like a bamboo or a wooden um, handle but the part where the bristles attached to it had cracked so all these bristles were coming out so I'm like you know what I'll, pay, I'll buy this if this one breaks whatever it was a dollar the other thing was I don't know five six bucks so I'll use this I bought some more earbuds. I always buy earbuds because, I mean, probably because these earbuds, 
sometimes they don't last very long. I've bought in some earbuds from there and they last for a little while and then either one doesn't work or both of them don't work. But they're a dollar so I don't care. I've bought some from like Five Below and they're five dollars. They were really cute. They were my little pony ones and one of them doesn't work. I think the right ear doesn't work so it's kind of a pain in the butt. So I bought some other um, headphones. I bought more like you know, over-the-ear type headphones uh, for Five Below, which I like, but these are a lot more easier to, like, pack in your bag or something. And they're cute. They're pink and zebra stripes. I got some of this. It's like uh, Epsom salts, and these are eucalyptus scented, 16 ounces. It says to use one or two cups, which would either be half or the whole bag to put in a bath. Um, sometimes I get from home from work and my back and my feet, they just kill. So I thought this would be good. Like sometimes I've taken a bath, but, and it's felt good, but this would be good. I don't really like eucalyptus scented things, but whatever, I can deal with it if it works. I bought this. This is a, um, a pill cutter. Sometimes um, you may need to cut a pill in half due to whatever your prescription directions are. My mother has one because she takes like two and a half pills three times a day of a specific medication. And she has one, but I thought I'd get another one just in case or use it for travel or something um, just to keep in the drawer. I thought she had another one, but I couldn't find it. Um, so, I got this. I bought these. Um, they're like pet can canned pet food covers. Um, there's three in here. I, I'm using one right now, but it was orange. So, green, orange, and blue. Three pack for a dollar, which is good. Um, as you'll see later in the haul, I bought a couple cans of cat food so I needed those to cover because it's just I don't like using aluminum foil and stuff it comes off and I just prefer to use aluminum foil for something else so this fits very snugly and it's good I got we needed some napkins so I bought a package of napkins. I should have bought a, um, some paper towels, but for some reason I thought when I went to the grocery store I bought paper towels, but apparently I didn't. So that stinks. Alright, hold on one second. One second. All right, sorry about that. I thought I had all the bags, but I guess not. Alright, so, I also bought a shower cap. I'm not quite sure why I bought a shower cap, because I have some shower caps, but whatever. So I bought this. I thought it was pretty. It reminds me of a shirt my mom had when I was a little kid that was probably from, like, the 70s. It's cute. Um... I bought two of these, one with a white cap and then one with a blue cap. I made my own natural deodorant um, and I wanted to put the box of baking soda and the box of cornstarch in another container because they're just kind of open. So I thought these were good and small and they have like a little hand grip. I have something like this that's um, glass 
that I bought from the Christmas tree shop that I had bought to put trail mix in when I was at a different job for people to come in if they wanted to snack at my desk I had that but anyways that has tea bags or something in it now in my pantry so but these are good these are plastic and in my previous haul I had shown that I bought um, the LA's totally awesome which is a brand at the Dollar Tree um, OxyClean which was a 16 ounce container and I use it um, in my laundry and my laundry detergent that I make, the powdered one. And I haven't seen this at the other two at the uh, the other two Dollar Trees. And I've seen other people haul this. And this is twice the size. It's 32 ounces, and it's still a dollar. And it's orange, but I smelled it, and it's not like in your face orange. It just kind of smells clean. It just smells like regular laundry detergent or something. So I was excited to find this. I don't really need this right now, but I figured the next time I probably go there, what if they don't have it? So I figured I'd get one at least just to have. I bought this. It's like um, extra strength pain relief PM acetaminophen. So it's like PM extra strength Tylenol. 24 ta uh, tablets in here. And I've never taken any... Dollar Tree type medication over the counter stuff. They had like little packets of Tylenol or Aleve or Advil, but you only got like six in there. So my uncle said that he's used the Dollar Tree aspirin and it works well. So I figured I'd try it at least. And if it doesn't work, whatever, it was a dollar. I bought. These Nutty Bars, Buddy Bars, um, I think Little Debbie or some company makes something similar to this, like a name brand, which I like, so I figured I'd try this. I've seen other people haul these, and they said they're good, so I figured I'd try that. And I got the Dollar Tree brand um, Pop-Tarts, these toast -em pop Pop-Ups, I got Frosted Strawberry. I love Frosted Strawberry Pop-Tarts. Um, I just remember being a kid, and I remember before school, I was, I'd eat Frosted Strawberry Pop-Tarts in front of the TV, and I'd watch this movie called The Last Unicorn, which is an animated movie. Um, it's a really good movie, if you've ever seen, if you've never seen it or whatever, but um, I don't know, I just, that's a memory that sticks in my head, eating Frosted Strawberry pop tarts and watching the last unicorn when I was like eight or nine um I also bought which I don't have here in front of me um because it was put in the trash but I bought one of those big like ramen noodle bowls they're called super meals like soup as in like soup soup s-o-u-p but it was super meals which I had never bought before and I was looking for them at the grocery store and I couldn't find them and I was at the Dollar Tree in the aisle um, and I was like, oh, look, they have them here. So I got a beef flavored one. There was a lot in there. I don't typically eat like ramen noodles or that kind of thing, but I figured, um, it's nice to have something like that in your pantry if you've had like an early dinner and if later on you're hungry, but you don't really want something big and you don't really have anything, you don't want to cook anything to make that. Um, and last night I was too tired when I came home to cook or anything, so I had that. I guess that's everything that I bought, um, I guess so, oh, um, I bought, they're all gone, I also bought a bag of, um, Utz brand cheese doodles, but like the small skinny crunchy ones, not the puffy ones, which I already ate, um, I just like go to the store and I buy like salty snacks and then I buy candy, usually it's chocolate, the other day, and I'll do a haul on what I got from Trader Joe's, but I just got, like, all this chocolate stuff because I just was craving chocolate. So I don't know why that is, but whatever. I don't really need a reason. I can just want chocolate, I guess. <laughs> all right, so that is my haul. Hopefully, um, 
this kind of shows you things too that if you've never gone to the Dollar Tree you can buy they're good deals um, especially some of these things are really good I, I'm glad I didn't have to go to the grocery store and spend a couple bucks more and um, all right so share with me what you like at the Dollar Tree and if you've used any of these and you like them or not like them or um, whatever your opinions are Okay, well, you have a good day. Bye-bye.